Okay, we have come to our last presenter of the night. And let us bring to the stage, please, number 14, our Real Reveal podcast. You have the floor. All right, first, um, how is everybody doing? Uh, my name is Jalen Falk, and I'll be presenting the Real Reveal podcast. I'm currently a, a graduate student at Duquesne University, and I'm, I'm in the final semester to get my, my professional MBA from Duquesne. And why me? Uh, I feel like... Uh, I feel like, why not me? You know, um, I'm no stranger to adversity. Uh, when I was two months old, my father was killed. So uh, I had to grow up my whole life without my father being there. And um, I've lost two of my cousins to gun violence. I lost my aunt to breast cancer and I, uh, my, my roommate from college passed away. So I've been through so many things throughout my life and I find a way to overcome them. So through this podcast, I want to provide the knowledge that I've gained through going through these situations um, and just give, it, give back to the community. Um, and the issue I feel like is the mental health awareness. I feel like a big thing around mental, mental health is, is, is the stigma. You know, um, so many people struggle in silence and so many people don't know how to ask for help or like, and, and, and so many people don't want to seem weak by asking for help. So through this podcast, I want to give people uh, an option to kind of see people talk about real conversations, about going through things that they went through in their real life, how they got through it, because a lot of people just don't have that source. And um, through the solution, uh, by doing my part through this podcast, I want to promote positivity and well-being through dialogue. Um, I want to create an outlet uh, for people that's interested, and I also want to break the stigma through mental health. And with Healing Heart and Hearts, that's the foundation that I already have uh, going. Uh, it's to help people that, or it's to help kids that has already been affected by gun violence, uh, who, who's lost their parents or family members, who's like who's having a hard time going through things uh, such as I did growing up. And this is my support cast. I was so blessed to have an amazing support cast. And I know like a lot of people um, is not blessed to have a support cast uh, as I had. Here's my, 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 uh, my family, uh, my girlfriend, uh, my football teammates who I still talk to to this day. And, um, and as I said, um, people don't have that support system as I did. So through this podcast and through things uh, that I'm doing outside of that, um, I kind of want to be that supportive figure for others. Um, because it can honestly be the, be the difference between life and death. Because um, uh, at the job I work at, uh, I think a week ago, a kid killed himself because his father had cancer and his mom wasn't in his life, so he didn't know how to cope with it. He didn't know how to reach out to somebody and ask for help. And I kind of touched me a lot because I lost my father when I was young. And, you know, um, the support cast that I had, you know, they kept me grounded. Uh, the faith that they instilled in me in playing sports. I've been playing football since I was five years old, and I still play football to the day for the Duquesne Dukes. And my goal with the Real Reveal podcast is to kind of just provide inspiration through everything that I went through. And, um, and I just want people to know uh, by having passion, drive, and just having the ability to rebound that, um, that you can achieve anything and, and the key is just to never give up. And the, and the things that I need for this, the thing that I need for this podcast is listed right here, such as a camera, a computer, tripod, lighting kits, you know, just things like that. And um, I need a, I need a, a editing software, headphones, just different things to make this podcast a success. And that's why I'm asking for $2,500. Very well presented. Judges, questions, please. Hey, Lynn, it's awesome. Love it. Sorry if I cut somebody off. Um, wonderful presentation. Uh, love the idea. Who, who would be your, um, if you could have any person on the podcast with you? Who Look would? at your judges. Look at your judges. <laughs> <laughs> I can have anybody on my podcast. You know, um, it'd be an honor to have any professional athlete, honestly. Um, I don't have a specific person because I'm actually a big fan of podcasts. So I watch podcasts that way. With different professional stars, and I think the big thing with me, um, knowing so many, um, I think having conversations with them and uh, having having people such as me and uh, people that that, that uh, aren't professional athletes see that that people that's in the NFL, NBA still go through these things. So you know, because a lot of people feel like they're the only one that goes through things like this. So I just want to talk to people that have a platform and build a platform for myself, just to let people know that they aren't alone and uh, that they can achieve anything as long as they put their mind to it. I had a quick question for you. Just wondering, do you plan to continue the podcast after you finish your education? Um, this podcast is something that I honestly want to do for the rest of my life. Um, I kind of looked at it that I'm 23 years old and a lot of people uh, that I watch, 
they're 38, they're 40, they're 45. So this is something that I want to be a lifetime thing. So I feel like this is a good place to start with a great foundation like you guys. So um, I just want to get it off the ground. I feel like a saying that I say, uh, the hardest thing is just getting started. And uh, I feel like once I get started, I feel like the I feel like the ball keep rolling. I feel like this can actually go into something really special. And that's my hope for it. Excellent, thank you. Hey Jalen, this is a great, great idea. I lost a parent at a very young age and uh, I, it, it, was, it was a traumatizing time in my life. And I'm a great example of kind of what you're talking about, how you can come from that place and spin around and turn yourself. And you know, I'm, I'm very blessed today that I have a beautiful family, very successful in my businesses. I would be honored to be a guest on your podcast at any time. You can ask me to come on. I'd be happy to bring my 100,000 Instagram followers to promote it and, uh, and talk about and tell my story because it it's real. And, I, and I'd love to keep it real and tell that story. If you want me to have it as a guest, I'd be happy to be there. I'd love to have you as my first guest. That would be awesome. Deal. <laughs>What's up, Jalen? It's Chase Claypool with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I just want to say congratulations. Uh, you know, I felt very passionately about everything that you've been doing to promote positivity and well-being through conversation. And I look forward to following you as you bring the voices of the Real Reveal podcast to life. Best of luck, man. I'll be following you. Uh, keep killing it. Claypool out. Hi, Jalen. This is Blair Holmes, Director of Community Relations at the Pittsburgh Steelers. First, I just want to say congratulations on being the winner for the U Prize competition. Your video submission was amazing, and we are, here at the Steelers are so excited to support you um, and help connect you with athletes here in the area. Um, we're excited to see your podcast and excited about all the work that you have started and the work that is about to take place. So just know that you have an ally and a supporter in the space. Again, congratulations. Hey, Jalen, I bet we could even get filming in the Steelers studio. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Might free up some budget for some other ideas you have. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just gained another guest too. Uh, a, a couple more. Very, very well done.